So, what to do? Here I return to the topic of censorship. Here at AEI, I have heard some principled arguments in its favor from Walter Burns, Robert Bork, and many others. I have also heard some strong arguments against it, notably from Ben Wattenberg. Most people in the world still believe that the media should be censored. As a handsome young Bollywood actor told me in Mumbai, filtering is needed. But this is not the attitude of most Americans. The last time the Pew Research Center asked Americans uh, whether they were concerned about the values that pop culture was teaching to their children, roughly 60% said they were very concerned. <clears throat> but when asked whether they thought entertainment should be censored, either by the industry or by the government, 80% said no. Now behind these numbers is the assumption that in-your-face entertainment is the price we pay for freedom. The trouble is there are millions of people around the world who pay the price but don't get the freedom. This is because 21st century authoritarian governments have learned to use entertainment in a very skillful way. Depending on the country, it's a different pattern, um, but in many places they allow a steady flow of distraction and amusement, much of which resembles American popular culture or is American popular culture, uh, including some that offends public morality, in order to make the media appear free not only to their own people, but also to Americans and other Westerners who unthinkingly equate the freedom to watch nude Paris Hilton videos with the freedom and the liberty to criticize their own government. Now this authoritarian modus operandi calls for a more sophisticated American response than it has been getting. 